Thanks, Peter. Everybody hear me and see the screen, the slide? Good. Yes, uh, so the first thing I should say is I'm not uh, a techie and never have been, but I've worked with technical people for most of my career. So this is a perspective that is a, a mixture of some experience uh, directly, but also uh, of the wider context. If I can get the slide to move. There we go. So uh, basically, for me, one of the biggest things is, is thinking about the users. Uh, because it, uh, things, if, if, especially if it's something new for people, it wants to be intuitive. Uh, also, if you're already using uh, other platforms, you need to think about that, especially within an organization, but also, you know, often in a network context. And then also uh, providing what is needed. And there, I mean, uh, you, you need to think about, uh, you don't need to have a lot of bells and whistles and different functionality necessarily, depending on what you're trying to do. And you can always build these things up over time. The other thing is, is from the software point of view, I would say uh, anything that has a, a, a large community of developers to keep the software evolving, especially at this pace that things change. So that's an important thing to think about if you're thinking about hosting a particular software or using a platform. And then security and safety also need to be part of the assessment as well, because of course uh, we all are, are exposed to it in the COVID context with this platform and others, it's uh, an important consideration. Uh, and also the other thing to think about is when it comes to platforms, people who are very familiar with them, of course, are often very strong advocates of those particular platforms and they may not be uh, able to, to give you a, a picture that is broader than a, one or two platforms. So it's good to try to get a diversity there. So if I start thinking about, well, if, if I wanted to be in a, a situation, if I was trying to support some kind of online collaboration, um, the basic functionality that many of us, most of us are probably pretty familiar with is email. Uh, many different uh, flavors of providing that service, but, uh, and it's not particularly sophisticated, but it's easy. Uh, people, uh, many people are, are in their career and looking through their inboxes all the time. So it's good to keep them connected and it doesn't matter where they are or when they are. Uh, good for communications, ongoing communications, you can do some archiving, but it is limited in functionality. And then you, uh, uh, if you're thinking about something more than that, um, then you're thinking about you know, a lot of different potential uh, web-based collaboration platforms and uh, softwares. And again, my uh, perspective is uh, if you can define well what it is that you need to do together, and you may not know uh, right away what everything that that is, but you can start it somewhere and evolve, and then think about what, what we might want in the future, what kind of capacities do we need, again, the security and safety, and then is it future friendly? Difficult question to answer, but uh, to think about uh, if it is, is more likely to be able to evolve with the times or not. Uh, so then there's the question often of, do we try to integrate everything in one platform or do we have several different platforms? Um, and it's uh, good to know that there are many platforms that do a lot of different things that are integrated, which is uh, quite useful. Probably a lot of people familiar with uh, Microsoft 365 or something like that. So there's a lot of integration, but that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, it's, it's good for evolution of new functionality. We know that many new tools and platforms coming up, it's, it's uh, becoming easier to integrate these things, but it's still not easy. Um, so it, it's a question, you have to decide, can you, uh, can you be better off one way or the other? Um, and, and just to, to think about the potential future, even if you can't predict it. And then if I were to try to kind of pull it all together, I would say also what I think a number of other presenters here will say, is that it's about people. You know, it's about the people that you're trying to facilitate the coll collaboration, the communication, the sharing of various kinds of information and knowledge. So um, to be able to engage people who are representative of different stakeholders in this group in the planning process and when it comes to technical solutions is a crucial part of it. And that, you know, to have that engagement as early as possible and as, as much as possible a co-development and, and certainly about making big decisions, that will also very much increase the likelihood that people will feel a stake in that platform 
uh, want to learn how to use it more, more effectively and be good champions for it. And then of course, the financial and operational uh, sustainability, you gotta understand what the potential costs would be in terms of money and time. Time is probably the more difficult one often enough. Um, and yeah, those kind of things need to be taken into account. So uh, that in a nutshell is my suggesting, uh, suggestion about how to kind of approach this whole platform and technology uh, uh, side of things that are, uh, many of us uh, here and there have to make those kind of decisions. So um, anyway, I welcome your uh, comments uh, at whatever point that comments are being held. I don't know if we go through the various presentations first. 